Today I will show you a great hack to understand rhythm better with practical exercises that will make a huge difference in your playing. So we're going to be talking about quarter notes, eighth notes, eighth note triplets and sixteenth notes. <laughs> Hey guys, Martino here. Welcome to the channel. I'm the founder of the London Saxophone School. We're here to help you guys master your skills on the saxophone, whether it's with lessons, master classes, workshops, and whatnot. So for any questions, just let me know here below. If you want to work more closely with me and my team here at the London Saxophone School, there's a link below in which you can book your lesson. Also, don't forget to download your free saxophone guide with more saxophone tips in there for you all for free. So we can get started now. So we're going to be talking about quarter notes eighth notes, eighth note triplets and sixteenth notes and how to really be a master and in control of each single note value. Let's start with quarter notes. I want you to do this with me. Just copy exactly what I do. It's not really hard, right? It's you're just tapping your hand on your leg. That's all, okay? So, that's fine. Now, if we get our metronome and we put the metronome at 60 BPM, okay? We're just going to tap along with the metronome, not, not a big deal. Three and four. Two, three, four. Okay. Now, 60 BPM, the metronome is giving us the pulse, the heartbeat. Okay. And it happens that we're also playing the quarter notes, which correspond to the beat. So the quarter note and the metronome are in sync they exactly the same thing in this case okay then we'll look at different note values afterwards okay but in this case this and this are exactly doing the same thing right three and four one two three four one two three now, if I increase the tempo in here, the metronome, and I go to 120, okay, it's going to be way faster. And if I still play quarter notes, my quarter notes are going to be faster just because I play with a faster pulse. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. You know, my hands are always, my hand is always with the metronome in this case. So those are or quarter notes. Now, eighth notes. Do exactly what I do, okay? Just copy exactly what I do. So we're going back to playing our quarter notes, okay? No metronome for now. You just play your quarter notes. Now, have your hand ready here with you, okay? And let's say the numbers. So one, two, three, four, again. One, two, three, four. Hand. One, two, three, four. Again. One, two, three, four, no hand, one, two, three, four, put it back, one, two, three, four, no hand, one, two, three, four, okay, so what's happening is, by the way, you can do this without the saxophone, actually, you should do it without the saxophone, that's way better way to, to get everything, to ingrain everything in your brain, so what's happening, this is the quarter note, okay, we know that, when I put my hand on top, what happens is I basically divide the beat into two equal parts. One and two and three and four and, and, so, and so forth, okay? Instead of using the traditional method of counting one and two and three and so on, um, something that I learned from drummers and especially with Benny Greb when I went to study with him a while ago, uh, is that drummers use words to ingrain the rhythm of whatever they're doing, okay? So in this case, for simple eighth notes, you can think of any two-syllable word. And I like to think of pizza, because pizza is nice. <laughs> so we can say pizza, 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 right? So whether I have my hand on top or not, my pulse here, my quarter notes are always steady. And then when I put it back, Pizza, 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 pizza. When the P is down and the tsa is up here, okay? If we do with the metronome, let's do it together. So that's a 60. Let's do one bar of quarter notes and one bar of eighth notes. Ready? One, two, three, and quarter notes. One, two, three, four, 
one, two, three, four, one, two, three, pizzas. Pizza, 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 pizza. Okay, makes sense. So that's a really great way to ingrain that in your brain. So anytime you see quarter notes on the page or you know that you're playing quarter notes by ear, just make sure that they're equally divided. You know, you have space between the beat and this beat. And it's it's what's in, most important is how you divide, how you subdivide the space between the two beats. So everything is nicely equally spaced. Make sense? Cool. And by the way, for those of you who are in London on June 19th, we're having an end of year summer concert. So if you want to come over, have a saxophone evening and just support our students, it'll be super, super cool to meet you and have you there. You can get your tickets here below in the description. There's a link in which you can get your tickets. It'll be super awesome to have you there. Now let's go into triplets. Now, the idea of triplets is no different from the idea of pizzas, of eighth notes. Okay, what's happening is we have a beat and we have our next beat okay on pizzas we were dividing the beat in two equal parts pizza right in two equal parts and triplets we're dividing the beat into three equal parts okay so one two three one two three one two three the example you know the idea of using the hand doesn't work anymore for triplets so we're just going to use another word instead and that word is elephant or any other three syllable word that you want it doesn't really matter okay for me i just use elephant all the time in lessons so elephant elephant that's what we want okay the idea on elephant the idea on, on triplets is that you stretch that elephant so every single note is equally spaced between the two beats okay i see very often people uh, saying things like elephant elephant or like weird combinations, variations of the rhythm. So you want to be having, you want to have a very nice and equally spaced elephant in a way. Elephant, 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 make it brief. Elephant kind of thing. Okay, so let's do it together. Let's do one bar of quarter notes only and one bar of elephants only. Okay, ready? Without metronome. One, two, three. Three and and four. One, two, three, four elephants. Elephant, 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 elephant. Quarter notes. Two, three, four elephants. Elephant, 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 and so on. Okay, the elephant has to be equally spaced. Otherwise, you get something like elephant, elephant 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 stuff like that okay which you don't really want you want to have it nice and equally spaced that's all it that's that's all triplets are okay if you think about triplets anytime you see an, a triplet on the page that's gonna really save you stretch it out because that's the biggest thing okay and and you'll be fine now let's go into 16th notes the idea is still the same you want to divide subdivide the space between one beat and the next beat, this time we're gonna subdivide it into four equal parts. So pizza was two parts, right? Elephant triplets was three parts, and now 16 notes is four parts, okay? And for this, we're gonna use the word avocado. Avocado, just because it has four syllables. Again, you can use any words you want. These are the ones that I use. Um, it doesn't really matter so much. So we're gonna go avocado, 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 avocado. Make sense? So let's do one bar of quarter notes to make it simple, to take it simple, and one bar of avocados. Ready? One, two, three, and four. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Avocado, 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 quarter notes. Two, three, four. Again, avocado, 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 avocado. Okay, makes sense. So that's all. That's all it is. Okay. So sixteen notes are basically just a bunch of avocados. Makes sense. So at the end of the day, we're relating everything to food apart from the elephants. So we have p. Sa, elephant, elephant, avocado, avocado, and so on. Okay, make sense? 
Now to put it all together, we're gonna do it this way. We're gonna take our metronome at 60 BPM, okay? And we're gonna do two bars of quarter notes, two bars of eighth notes, two bars of pizzas, two bars of triplets, two bars of elephants, and two bars of avocados, 60 notes, okay? So quarter notes, pizzas, elephants, and avocados, two bars each. Ready? Here we go. That's metronome at 60. Here we go. One, two, three, go. One, two, three, four, again. One, two, three, pizzas. Pizza, 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 again. Pizza, 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 pizza. Elephant, 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 avocado, 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 avocado. Okay, that's it. Okay, so just the fact that you know pizzas, elephants, and avocado, and you can relate to those, and you can go back to think in those words when you have the specific note values, you know, in, in a piece of music, that's going to be a, a massive game changer when it comes to playing and to being more accurate rhythmically, okay? Because otherwise, you will have to think about basically too theoretically kind of thing, okay? But if you bring it down into, you know, concrete stuff, words that you know, then everything will make more sense and your brain will go like, oh, yeah, that, that's just a pizza, that's an elephant, that's an avocado whatever. Okay. Makes sense. So guys, that's it. I really hope you find this valuable. Remember to subscribe and to like the video if you enjoy the content. And actually, by the way, thank you so much for your support. We reached 5,000 subscribers just a few days ago. So I'm super grateful for your, your support that you do for this channel. So thanks again. And um, yeah, so any questions, just let me know here below and I will see you in the next video. And in the meantime, just, you know, have some pizzas with avocado, maybe not an elephant. Anyway, bye-bye. <laughs>